welcome back to our channel. guys welcome back to our channel today we are doing a project we are going to be digging out our front flower bed so today's video is going to be all about the process and obviously this project is going to take longer than one day but today is day one you ready to go outside yeah all right let me get my boots on and we'll head out okay. Are you gonna use the shovel? Oh, okay. What are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna dig roots and dig treasure. Oh, cool. Roots and treasure? Okay. I don't know. Treasure and bugs. Yes. And bugs? Mm -hmm. You're gonna find. But not stink bugs. Not stink bugs. Or. Or this bug. Or, or beetles. We've got our tools, we've got our wheelbarrow, and we're going to get started and see how much we can get done today. Sure that we will be done digging after today. We are almost finished. It is really bright and really hot out here, but I really want to get this done. It's supposed to rain most of this week, so I figure this is a good day to get things finished up. So here we go. Yeah. I don't think that's going anywhere. What do you think? Want to bet? We're cleaning out the front garden bed. Just so you guys know, this project probably took us about a week and a half, but that is not working for a week and a half straight. We typically take our mornings and work on outside projects. So we're really only spending an hour, maybe two each day, if we even go out every day and just kind of work on this little by little. With four kids and a real estate business, we just have to throw whatever time we have at stuff like this.
Look at this man, guys. He is being my hero tonight. We have not had much time the last few days to really work on this and I am just so ready to get it done and I know he is too so that we can move on and work on something else. <laughs> he caught me. <laughs> so I'm really happy because I've tried to come out here and work on this like every morning for the last week and you know just haven't been able to get much done so I really appreciate really appreciate this guy right here for finishing the job this evening <laughs> so maybe you could share what you did what I did yeah what I did was bust my butt out here for the past couple of days um, I got up all the roots, raked it down again, and here we are. Tomorrow, like I said, we'll go ahead and measure it out, make sure all the roots and uh, weeds are out of the way, and then we will lay down the paper and uh, put some soil on top of it. If we have enough, we'll, we'll see. After that, we will um, we'll go ahead and put the rocks in place. Why are you? <laughs> I got a booger. Take three. Uh, we'll cut uh, cross sections in so that the plants that are already in the ground, uh, we can go ahead and pull them through the paper and um, pull up any roots that might be in the way. And after that, we will uh, we'll go ahead and set the rocks back in place um, so we can go ahead and start planting. Daddy's digging up the flower bed. Looks like he found another pipe. Whoa, that's an even bigger one, Lachlan. We can use that for our base. Like you think. So, let's keep seeing what happens next. And in the sky is really blue today. What is he doing? Do Your hammer? Okay. <laughs> I really enjoy using herbs, um, I enjoy growing herbs. So what we planted, we wanted to have a purpose, not just be beautiful, although they're going to be beautiful too. This is chamomile, which we can use for teas. And this back here is Stephen's favorite. It is pineapple sage. It smells amazing. And for the rest of our herbs, here we have boxwood baby. Here we just have some purple basil. This is rosemary. This is a big bush that it's one that I got from a friend of mine last year, and it's been sitting in a bucket for a 
here. And so we finally transplanted it. This is purple coneflower, or otherwise known as echinacea. Back here, I just planted some zinnias, and these were transplants from a friend's garden bed. So I chose things specifically that bloom because we do want to have a lot of blossoms here, but we can use them for more tinctures or other herbal remedies as well. Be sure to leave a comment below with what you're doing in your garden beds and what you think about using herbs as beautification. Maybe even what herbs you use in your garden. Yeah, we'd love to hear it. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.